Hello again and greetings Earthlings and welcome back to the channel. This is Legendary Tabletop and I'm Greg, your host. And today I am going to uh, make a very simple craft. Trees! Yes, there are a million uh, trees on YouTube. Really a million different uh, variations and a lot of them have to do with paper towel rolls and... and uh, toilet paper rolls as, as we call them here in the states and I want to be clear too on this video and now this is not a realistic tree this is a stylized tree is what, what I would call it um, now generally a lot of the crafts that we make um, though we try to be realistic as possible sometimes we are just creating an approximation now some terrain that I make I like to make very realistic um, but most of my terrain I like to be bold with color and shape and to have a stylized presentation which makes the stuff that I make a little bit more unique and you can kind of do that as you wish and I think that you should do that as well and, and go towards the creative angles in which um, get you excited and now for something like this uh, these I decided that I needed some spooky trees for the Mordheim board and I have all sorts of different trees that I've built uh, before that I still use uh, for my war game board but staring uh, lovingly at my Mordheim city I uh, could not put my finger on what was missing and eventually uh, decided that yeah spooky trees are what we need to kind of take our Mordheim board to the next level we have all sorts of little details risers uh, we built aqueducts a few weeks ago all sorts of ruined uh, buildings but no trees so generally um, you know trees are going to be a nice easy thing for a little line of sight blockers and aesthetic so here we are with some toilet paper rolls and some um, paper towel rolls and I'm using the more sturdy paper towel rolls with a base of MDF for the tree trunks and I'm using the less sturdy toilet paper rolls for uh, the roots here and now these are not realistic but they are sort of an approximation of what we are trying to build so you put this on the table it doesn't look like a realistic tree um, but people will see how it looks enough and they will know what it is so generally for cardboard stuff like this we're going to use hot glue for the speed of it you could use um, just regular Elmer's glue but that would take a long time and so I like the instantaneous uh, aspect of this and then also I'm going to use the hot glue to create texture uh, for the tree eventually as we built it together now I take uh, some MDF here and I'm going to just create some of our spooky branches and kinda just free drawing little shapes and I want them to look sort of sinister and uh, spiky you know the type of trees that we might uh, find 
in a graveyard, graveyard, the type of truths we might find in uh, a Tim Burton movie, that sort of thing. So just taking this nice MDF and uh, we're going to cut out these branches, which we are going to obviously glue towards the tops of our trees in order to create uh, the approximation, but yes, of our tree branches. All right, so hot glue gun is ready, but first I'm going to cut some inserts here with uh, my X-Acto blade here in order to just give the tree branches a more uh, natural, quote unquote, uh, and st sturdy, just basically for sturdiness. I feel like uh, a Cheeto finger going in the wrong direction is going to easily knock these over or uh, snap uh, these branches off. So just a little bit of hot glue, a little bit of insert, and then there you have it. We have uh, the approximation of the spooky tree. And then so now I'm going to use the hot glue gently to create some of the pattern in our tree trunk here. And I'm doing sort of like this wood grain. This would be sort of like that large knot, very like Zelda tree-ish, very uh, Deku tree vibes. And creating some little knots. And then we're going to do some long lines here that kind of go down. Uh, to the roots that could be either uh, a representation of uh, vines growing on the trunk or even the grain of the trunk itself and we're gonna go over all of our little trees with this in order to very easily and very speedily get one this craft finished and two some nice detail but not crazy detail I call this the like enough detail. I don't need to get crazy. We already talked about how we're not trying to be realistic. We're creating a stylized uh, piece. We're creating art. Yes. Say it with me now. Art. But yes. So really quickly, yeah. If you're enjoying this video, if you like um, stuff like this, please like and subscribe. And uh, please check out the backlog. We have many other crafting Mordheim videos, miniature painting videos. We have um, 3D printing videos. We have battle reports, all sorts of fun stuff that's related to uh, tabletop gaming, hence the uh, name of the channel. And you saw there, I just used my lighter to get rid of some of the little spindly spindlies that remain when you use the hot gun so or the hot glue gun so now one of my favorite uh, craft tools cheap silicone caulk here which can be a little bit toxic uh, irritating to not to your, not to breathe but uh, irrit I mean if you just you put it in your nose and you're just huffing it yeah that's uh, n not good please don't do that <clears throat> but uh, can be irritating to the skin so get those gloves on. We all have like 8,000 boxes of gloves in our house after uh, the uh, virus, which cannot be named. And uh, so yeah, just putting here and I'm gonna put this over the cardboard. I'm gonna mix a little bit of glue and a little bit of water with it. And this is gonna like solidify uh, the craft and the silicone stuff will, will make it so strong that you could basically like take this uh, these trees once it's dried and like whip them against the wall and they're not gonna like break um, but I like that for storage purpose because then I can just like chuck them in a box put them away somewhere um, and also too this helps to blend some of the sloppy uh, joints that we've used with hot glue here and yeah I'm just gonna take like another little scrap piece of cardboard and I'm gonna start spreading that over eventually I give that up and I just start like using my hands in order to get it all to the, the cracks and crevices and this will blend sort of those like weird um, stylistic uh, branches which you know are circular they're like this kind of like uh, or you know it reminds me of like those pop-up books it's like a pop-up book style like you open the 
the book and, and this is the type of tree um, but it's cool and it's stylized and I like it so anyways yeah so caulking on here and then we leave this to dry and it blends some of that hot glue texture that we've put in and you could do the same thing I didn't do that but you can come back after it's dried for an hour and maybe use like a toothpick or, or a popsicle stick in order to uh, blend so yes we have that nice uh, white which will give us uh, a great base and uh, no need to prime this the paint will stick to the caulking like gangbusters and we're going to begin just a simple uh, paint job in order to match uh, the vibes and the color scheme of the wood and the other elements on our Mordheim board. So we're going to start with uh, brown. We're going to match the wood and uh, do the little highlight dry brush, wet brush over here with uh, my two browns. And uh, generally all the wood on my Mordheim board is the same uh, color. And then uh, we're going to come with this green, which we have this dirty, you know, rotten uh, warp stone tainted river on our Mordheim board that's sort of tainted everything and every, all the buildings have this algae and mold on them. So we're matching uh, this as well. Same thing, just two different colors of green. And then we have a lot of this like teal in some of the runes and some of the buildings. And I just, it's my favorite color. So I like to just dabble a little bit on there. We're using acrylic paints and when they're wet like this, they seem very strong, but they eventually will uh, dry. And you'll see here now that the, the paint scheme is a lot more subtle. And then we're going to seal these off with just a nice wash, homemade wash. And um, that's about it. And just a little dry brush of tan too for some of the, the top parts here as a final uh, little touch on there. And uh, that's it for our Mordheim trees. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Um, if we haven't earned your subscription t today, please check out the backlog of legendary tabletop videos. We, I think we got something like 40 videos on there, all about tabletop stuff, painting miniatures, crafting that thing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we're going to roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs>